to Wiz Kids, the exciting game show where knowledge is power and young minds shine. I am your host, Ramona Luti, and with me are some of the brightest and sharpest students from across Guyana who are here to test their knowledge in the core subject areas related to the National Grade 6 Assessment. Let's go ahead and meet our contestants. Contestant number one, can you tell me your name, age, and school, please? I'm Regan Beckles. I'm 11 years old and I attend French Primary School. All right, welcome. Contestant number two. I'm Eleni Pereira. I'm 11 years old and I attend Paramakatoy Primary School. Awesome. Contestant number three. I am Liam Chase. I am 11 years old and I attend Arpaima Primary School. All right, welcome. There are four categories of questions. Mathematics, Science, English, and Social Studies. The host will select the first category and read the first question. Contestants will compete for the opportunity to answer questions by hitting their assigned buzzer. Once a question is read to completion, the contestants can then hit their buzzer. Contestants must keep their hands to their sides while a question is being read. The first contestant to hit their buzzer will be identified by the buzzer system and the host will then call on the contestant to answer the question. Once called upon by the host, the contestant has 10 seconds to answer the question. If a contestant answers the question correctly, they will be awarded 5 points and be allowed to select the category of the next question. If a contestant fails to answer a question correctly, the host will share the correct answer and will then select the category of the next question. Once a total of 40 questions has been exhausted, the contestant with the most points is declared the winner and will proceed on to the next round of competition. If any contestants have the same number of points or there is a tie, those contestants will then advance to a bonus round. The bonus round will contain five questions from any of the four categories, following the same rules and format as outlined. Are you ready to get straight into the competition? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's start with social studies, please. The commander in chief of the armed forces of Guyana is the contestant number three. The president. That is correct. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Mm, science. Which of the following are most likely to occur as a result of climate change? One, increase in the human population. Two, more animals dying. Three, rising in water levels. Or four, increase in forest fires. That's number three. Increase in forest fires and more animals dying. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. You got two correct. However, the correct responses would have been two, three, and four. More animals dying, rising in water levels, and increase in forest fires, okay? Let's proceed to English, please. In the following sentence, fill in the blank with the correct pronoun. Please give something the message before they arrive. That's number one. Them? That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Name the second highest national award in Guyana. Contestant number one. Huh? Order of Rhyme. That is correct. Contestants, remember you need to wait until the question is completely read before you attempt to tap on your buzzers. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. What mathematical device can be used to aid in counting utilizing beads? Contestant number one. Addition? <clears throat> I'm sorry, that is incorrect. They asked for the device. That would be an abacus. Let's proceed to science, please. Which is the largest planet in the solar system? Contestant number one. Jupiter. That is correct. Go ahead and select the next category, please. English. Choose the most suitable meaning for the expression that is underlined in the sentence. After trudging tirelessly to the market, store, and ice cream parlor, Jenny was tired of bending over backwards to please her sister. Contestant number one. Do anything to please her sister. I'm sorry. That is incorrect. We were looking for trying so hard. Okay? All right. Let's proceed to mathematics, please. Sonia accidentally broke a meter stick in two pieces. 
If the length of the shorter piece was 17 cm, what was the length of the longer piece? Contestant number one. Eight to three cm. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. Name a technique that is used to separate insoluble particles from a liquid. Contestant number one. Filtration. That is correct. You can also use sedimentation and decantation. Okay. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. Identify the part of speech of the underlined word in the following sentence. The teacher was known for the kindness she showed to her students. She. Contestant number three. Pronoun. Pardon me? Pronoun. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mm, language. Choose the most appropriate word to complete the sentence. Peter weighs something than Dawn. Contestant number one. More. That is correct. It could be less as well. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. The religious holiday that marks the crucifixion of Jesus Christ is, contestant number one, Easter. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be Good Friday. So the question requested the religious holiday which marks the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Okay. That's why it would be Good Friday, okay? All right, so Let's it. proceed. Let's proceed to mathematics, please. At what price must an item that costs $365 be sold to make a profit of $165? Contestant number one. I'm sorry, your time is up. The correct response would have been $530. All right, let's proceed to social studies, please. In what administrative region of Guyana is bauxite predominantly extracted or mined? Name the region. Contestant number one. Linden. Unfortunately, because you said Linden first, we will not be able to accept that answer. Linden is not the name for region 10. It's Upper Demerara, Upper Burbies. Okay? Okay. Let's proceed to science, please. What are the four groups of arthropods? Contestant number one. Myropods, arachnids, insects, and crustaceans. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Such a studies. Why were indentured immigrants brought to British Guyana? Contestant number one. Because the slaves were free and they had to get more people to work on the sugar plantation. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. Which number is neither prime nor composite? Contestant number one. Zero or one. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. Which of Guyana's waterfalls is found on the Potaro River? Contestant number one. Kaichur Falls. Correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. What word is used to classify types of literary work? Contestant number three. Mm. Mm. All right, time's up. That would be genre. Let's proceed to science, please. The part of the seed that becomes the first root of the plant is called... That's number one. Radical. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category. Mathematics. How many decimal points can there be in a number? Contestant number three. One. Correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mm, science. What is a thermometer used for? Contestant number two. To measure temperature. That is correct. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Social studies. True or false? Early inhabitants of Guyana came from Australia. Contestant number three. False. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Maths. The fraction 12 over 28 represented in its simplest form is... Contestant number three. Um, 
Um, six over fourteen. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be three over seven. All right. Let's proceed to English, please. Choose the correct conjunction to complete the sentence. Jenny likes to play cricket, something her friend Carla prefers to play basketball. That's in number three. But. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. What is the value of pi to two decimal places? That's in number one. 0. 0.00. Zero. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be 3.14. All right. Let's proceed to science, please. Approximately how long is a lunar month? That's number one. 29 and a quarter days. That is correct. It can, it can vary from 28 days. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. Choose the most appropriate word to complete the sentence. I do not want something food for dinner since I ate a lot today at school. Descent number three. Any? Correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. Five over 15 expressed as a decimal is approximately something. Descent number one. Zero point three three. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Science. The movement of the earth around the sun is called something. Contestant number three. Revolution. That is correct. Or orbiting. Go ahead and select the next category, please. Mm, science. The energy change which occurs when a standing horse begins to run is. Contestant number three. Potential to kinetic energy. Correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Uh, mathematics. Anisha has a stick that measures one yard. She also has a 12-inch ruler. She laid them end-to-end -end in a line. How long in feet is the resulting line? Contestant number three. Four feet. Correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mm, social studies. How is the government elected in Guyana? Contestant number three. Through elections. That is correct. Through the national and regional elections. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Mathematics. This is the last math question. If the fraction of eggs sold at a stall is 6 over 25, then the percentage of eggs sold is... Contestant number one. 24%. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. We've exhausted mathematics. English. Choose the most appropriate word to complete the sentence. After hearing loud noises and screams coming from the classroom, the teacher walked something to see what was happening. Contestant number one. Into. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It would be briskly. briskly. We needed a word to describe how the teacher walked. Okay? Oh. All right, let's proceed to social studies, please. The permanent movement of people from one place or country to another is called... Descent number one. Migration. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. English. Choose the prefix that correctly completes the underlined word in the sentence below. Roy was getting something patient because the doctor was taking too long to see him. Descent number one. Impatient. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. Social studies. This is the last social studies question. Which country in South America is the sole English speaking nation? Contestant number one. Guyana. That is correct. Go ahead and select your next category, please. We have English and science available. Science. This is the last science question. Nerves take messages from all parts of the body to the something and something. Contestant number one. Spinal cord and brain. That is correct. The last question for this segment. Choose the most appropriate word to complete the sentence. Many persons regard Saudi as the something favorite to win the spelling bee competition. Contestant number one. As a one? I'm sorry, that would, that's incorrect. It could have been overwhelming or the most favorite. All right? All right.
right, based on the scores displayed, contestant number one, you are in the lead for this episode of WizKids. Congratulations. Contestant number three, you are in second place. And contestant number two, you are in third place. Thank you very much for participating in this year's WizKids competition. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Ghana Learning Channel's WizKids show. Join us next time for even more excitement, challenges, and friendly competition. I'm your host, Ramona Luti, saying goodbye, and I'll see you in the next episode. Like, if you're fearful, don't let the fear, like, mess up your mentality. Because you never know, it could be like me, come fearing and then you win. They're fast and they're pretty good, they're pretty competitive.